Hey guys, this is your host, Gooby, and welcome to the Toon Balloon Podcast, our outlet to discuss, theorize, and enjoy our favorite webtoons with the occasional anime and manga sprinkled in between. In today's episode, my co-hosts, B and Panda, will be joining me on an in-depth discussion of chapters one through six of the latest webtoon series, Eternal Nocturnal, by Instant Miso. If you hadn't heard of this brilliant author yet, then I highly recommend you go check out her past series, Where Tangents Meet and Siren's Lament, as these are wonderful stories with glorious art. If you have enjoyed Instant Miso's work so far and would like more opportunities to support the creator, then please consider checking out her Patreon. She has her $1 membership tier that offers exclusive art for her supporters. I will leave links in the description box below. Eternal Nocturnal has been a series that I have been looking forward to all year, and I am so excited to finally have an opportunity to discuss it with my friends. Now, I recommend you read the chapters first before listening to the rest of the discussion because there will be spoilers and you have been warned. Now, let's talk Eternal Nocturnal, episodes one through six. All right, guys, I am here with two of my favorite co-hosts, Panda and B. Hi, everyone. Hey. Panda. Oh, why am I waving? Oh, my God, I need to stop that. I need this every time. <laughs> it's a panda here, y'all. Oh, my God, I'm doing peace time. Guys, I'm you can't see what they're doing. And they can't see my little buzz I, buzz over I here. I always forget. No, for real. We need to do, like... One once we need to do it like with you know do a face reveal type of situation. Yeah, face and reveal. I can see my hands, bro. <laughs> I always touch my hands. So you can sit for notion, guys. I mean panda. Yes. <laughs> oh so yeah, and not notion. There's no notion here. The name is Panda, y'all. Panda. And I am a simp. A simp, there we go. <laughs> and you know, with this series, there are too many characters now that people can simp for because instant miso is a powerful abs drawer here <laughs> oh my god i love it i love it oh my god i love it i am like i'm dying with her other webtoons as well but the fact that we have an outer space galaxy man like can you just eat my dreams <laughs> i i don't really dream a lot but i will dream for him Ooh. <laughs> Yo, Alessia, you sound like me. You're becoming a simp. That's exactly what simps do and say. I uh... I've been I've been a major simp recently, as you guys <laughs> know. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I've been a simp always. K-pop, the, no. yeah. This series is fair. I feel like. So, what do you think? Oh, you're muted. No shit. Yeah. Are you like okay? I was, I was, lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, with this series so far, with the very first chapter, we get introduced to Eve, a very pretty main character, and she happens to be our insomniac of the series. I can relate to that. Also, okay. the art is so, so beautiful. I love oh. it so much. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. I have yet to read a webtoon and see faces done as well as instant miso right i love it so much so freaking pretty the expressions you can Mm -hmm. tell the emotions they have exactly i love it like a lot of webtoons like i have to like really read and like look into it to see all the emotions but really even if i wasn't looking at the words i could see like from just like seeing i can understand everything it's like wow it's oh yes yes I i have no words guys I, I feel know. like she's improved so much from her other series, which is like where Tangents Me and Sirens Limit. And I feel like Sirens, oh my gosh, Sirens Limit's like a like a real gem in like all the that webtoon was series. Actually, one of my first webtoons. Yeah, really? I feel like that's a lot of people's first, from what yeah. I hear. That one and the where tangents 
me uh that one was actually my first one actually i think about yeah but anyways uh she was my first you know <laughs> i feel that's like a in my heart <laughs> yeah that series in particular when i was reading it because i think I, I binged read it one time and then i just see like it escalate you see it all just start her art it's it's consistent but it just improves like her and i feel like the thing yeah it's just the line art is so smooth like how do you do yeah. that <laughs> literally oh my god it's so freaking talented i love it so much it's so freaking good but, so yeah. yeah so we're gonna get into some ca- character good. analysis right yes. and i feel like um with eve she's pretty prominent in the series of course because she's our, our main character and then we have the the dream eater whose name is day I think that's I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it mm-hmm. I think his his full name is what Damon right yeah yeah okay so yeah day I guess I kind of like that it's like it's like you know is it like on purpose that his name is like day because he's like a night kind of thing I don't know like is that like that kind of thing that's kind of cool that's kind of cool that's kind of cute I like it yeah well, I was thinking like the full name is Daemon, which is kind of like a weird dream without the R. So like you're not you're wrong. Dream you're not on, wrong. dream on, dream on. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally see it with his character. I mean, this I, even the title is really like punny, you know, eternal, yes. nocturnal. <laughs> yes. Yo, I love it. This one was so well thought out. I feel like it, it, we're not even like that many chapters in. It's so new. It's six chapters, but there's already so much. And like, I love it so much already. Like, I cannot wait for oh the story yes. to uh, keep going. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm invested. That's what I am right now. <laughs> I, yeah, definitely. I honestly was invested from like the first chapter because the art is just so beautiful. The art is really what like drew me in. But the story, yes, immaculate. Chef kiss. Love it. So, <laughs> what do you think of your when we first see Eve and Day having their first like, I guess, dream meal? I don't really know how to describe the experience they're having. Oh, so, like Rare when encounter. she like, falls asleep and he comes and he eats her dream or whatever. See, at first I didn't understand that he was, you know, I didn't know he was like a dream eater. So I was like, you know, what's happening? Is he like some kind of a guardian angel type of thing? like helping her out like I was very confused but um yeah that was honestly my first impression I was like what's happening right now I thought he looked really cool his character design whoa like amazing like mysterious because you know it's kind of dark and stuff but you didn't really see him until like later I was like okay something's about to happen it's gonna be really good so yeah my first impression I was I was just like oh my gosh he is gorgeous I love that he is the outer space because that is where my head is always like I skip the clouds. I'm just in the galaxy and like he is the embodiment that I, I love to look at. Um, <laughs> whenever she was like she FaceTime with her mom and she's pacing around her apartment and she's going nuts because she cannot go to sleep. And then she takes a melatonin and all of a sudden it's OK because she's asleep. I was just like, oh my gosh, he helped her. He calmed her. He relaxed her. She's sleeping. And then he ate her dream. And I was like, that is fair payment. You helped her sleep. (laughs) Well, like, she was having a nightmare. No, Not the first time. Oh, you're right. That's when he went the second time. You're right. It was a regular dream. Hmm. Can, he was just yeah. like, yo, she weird. I can't read her. Yeah. And that's when you find out that he can read everybody and you get to know people. And then she was just like, yeah. And she has that character development of, oh, she's special. I like her. And now he's simping for her in secret. <laughs> like, we is simp it, for really him. simping right now, though? Is it simping? He's just. Intrigued. He broke his rule. He never. He did. Like, he did. He doesn't like to go after somebody twice. And now yeah. we are left on the cliffhanger that he went a third. He's time. going back for a third time. Oh my god! He wants the dessert, effort. girl. Mm. <laughs> he is a dessert, so he he should go back. <laughs> okay, maybe <laughs> everyone didn't hear me say that, but you know, y'all know. Go read it. <laughs> I think it's, dessert, it's crazy that she can see him in her dreams, though. I feel like 
that was of course a standout moment she's like oh shoot I could see you and he's like okay you're not supposed to do that <laughs> exactly yeah that, he's like um hold up now why was there eye contact you cannot see me no I don't think so so obviously that makes her unique so mm-hmm. it's like a little bit of a destiny destiny yes but also maybe she has some kind of power who knows well that's kind of something that instant miso does in how tangents meet um rachel she was a little bit special um in saren's lambit um lyra special power so i'm assuming that following this tradition Eve is going to be yeah. special in some way. True. That makes sense. Because the main girls all have something that makes them a little You're not different. Wrong. You're not wrong. I love it, though. Yeah. Oh. So when it comes to Eve and Cherry, that's her okay. friend friend name. <laughs> I, have, I have things to say about this. Okay. So we first get introduced to Cherry and... Um, at first, I'm like, okay, she, she seems like a very outgoing, lovely person, and that's fine. And, you know, I'm happy that she has, like, a good friend that's worried about her. But then I feel like her comments, oh, isn't this, like, your fifth job this year? Like, what are you doing? Oh, like, like those kind of, like, you know, offhand, like, comments. I, mm, are you a real friend? Are you, do you actually care? Or are you just using her? And then um, she... Okay, she's a, she's like a YouTuber. Was it YouTuber that it's called? Like a YouTube star? I think it's, YouTube, it's yeah, yeah, something YouTube, like that. Yeah, she's like a YouTube star or something, and um, she is emotionally kind of manipulating um, Eve here. I feel like because she's like, I have all these followers, and I don't want to disappoint them. And everyone has like musical talent. You can sing, and you can't have a job. So help me out, like be my voice, and I pretend to be you know a singer and I'm like okay if you really cared about this person who's your friend you'd help her you would try to get her help or give her advice or maybe help her start her own YouTube or channel or whatever where she sings because you know that's in demand right now that's popular right now why are you going to use your friend like that and then you make her feel intimidated with your manager just like sitting behind her like all backed up like that like, I get it. Everyone has their struggles, but I don't know. I just, I really hope that it's not, like, what I'm thinking, like, you know, she's going to be this fake person that's just using her. I hope it's this is just a misunderstanding from my point of view, but, like, I just feel like, you know, she's emotionally manipulating Eve at this point to get benefits out of this friendship because she knows she can't do this thing on her own and she needs her voice. And, like, I don't, I just don't think that's, like, very very um I don't know the word for it right now <laughs> I don't think that's right of her I guess like as a friend that's not what you should do help her help her be better and you should be true to yourself not be fake like yeah. what I feel like my first impression of her was like girl you knew what you were doing whenever she's like hey so I took a I took a video and everyone thinks I'm singing like you it was just an accident I was like girl don't play like that yeah. you knew yeah when I read that, I was like, there's no way, like, why would you just make a, like, a video recording of yourself singing along, like, lip singing, not even, like, you're just moving your lips, you're not even, like, voicing anything to someone else singing, you knew what you were doing, and you didn't record your friend, like, if that was me, my friend was singing in the background, I would be, like, singing along with her in my video, even if I didn't get her, but, and you would hear my, my awful voice, you know, I wouldn't, that's not how, like, Snapchat and stuff kind of works, you know, that's not how social media works, you don't just, like, Oh wait, they can't see that. <laughs> you can't just think about them or whatever, you know. I'm over here acting it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I feel like she knows. I, I'm assuming she's known Eve for a long time. If she's here claiming she's her best friend, yeah. so she knows that Eve has like this powerful voice that you know that she thinks people would be fond of. And yeah, she's probably going through a rut, Cherry, with her. Like I'm, I'm not able to keep my followers fascinated with me, so. I got to find the next best thing, which is my friend over here. And like you said, she's here kind of manipulating her with the whole, well, you don't have a job. Um, I can give you one, but it's going to cost you something, you, you know? And at the same time, like, I don't think Cherry's really thinking in the long run because 
you're not safe on the internet and oh, definitely not. no they're gonna figure it out real quick and oh yeah definitely like what happens when Eve is like okay maybe I like this and I want to start seeing on my own like I'm gonna do it for myself because we see I think it was in chapter four where she wants to take singing lessons so it seems like that's something that she's passionate about but she's trying to be this person that society wants her to be her family wants her to be and not who she wants to be you know and I feel like you know eventually she'll get there and then Terry will be exposed and you know she's not thinking far very far ahead she's being selfish and she's only thinking of herself right now she's not even thinking about you like that's not a sign so So. when it came to all of this I I also was with you guys I was like are you kidding me right now one you very clearly made it seem like you were seeing like her two you're degrading her she was doing like negs which is like a negative compliment I'm gonna put you down but I'm gonna make you feel good that way you listen to what I'm doing and at first I was just like this is horrible this is manipulating I I see foreshadowing I am thinking that it's going to come out in one of these videos her lip sinking is gonna be off just so slightly she's gonna get roasted truth is going to come out and then I was thinking about why would we have a character like this and I was thinking what if she's like a personification of society now because how many people on media are fake I was also thinking that that is so true like social media like nowadays like it's it's crazy like people do crazy things for viewers and for people to like them and people are not themselves we see this one point of view of their lives and we think oh my god they have it all they're perfect they're yes they're this they're that but in all honesty they're probably not that I mean maybe they are who knows again nobody we don't know like that's yeah, just exactly. one like point of view of them like it's just one aspect of their life that we're seeing that's not the true them you know yeah so, so that I'm makes hoping so sense. that this is going to be like character development because mm-hmm. Cherry is going to give Eve a reason to break out of her shell. And I think that is the reason for their friendship because this isn't an actual friendship. If you and I, or like any of us in this group, were in a rut, we're like, man, you can't hold a job, but I can do something for you. You want to do something? That's not doing something for me out of your heart. If you did that to me, I would honestly be so upset. I'd be like, uh, girl, are you my friend or what? Like, that doesn't seem very friendly. <laughs> well, honestly, you would never do that. I don't think you could ever do that to me, though. No, no. <laughs> Wait, if I'm going to ask you, like, hey, I'm going to help you out, I'm not going to demand something in return. Exactly. Like That's, that's not I'm giving like, from your heart. What? Exactly. That's like, I don't know. This is not a freaking um, transaction, bro. This is like. I care about you. I got you, homie. You know, it's not that. This is not Burger King. You do not get it the way you want. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it, I mean, she's working for her own favor at this point and not really thinking of Eve because we know why Eve can't hold down the job and it's her whole insomnia and everything. It's not because she's incapable of doing anything. Exactly. And I get it. Like, everyone has their own struggles. Like, you know, Eve says, yeah, I didn't know she was struggling this much. I'm like, honey, she's probably not struggling that much. Like, she's just using you. But, like, yeah, everyone has their own struggles. And, yes, Cherry probably is struggling with something. But that doesn't give you the right to manipulate other people for your benefit. You know, that's not something you do. And especially to someone who thinks of you as their best friend. And you think of them as your best friend. Well, you obviously don't actually. But, like, that's just not something you do you know oh my god it's just me thinking that it's so upsetting <laughs> like b said when she mentioned how like she's hoping it's character development and i'm really hoping because i'm thinking please tell me this isn't going where i'm thinking it's going and eve is gonna get hurt because i love eve already because she's so sweet <laughs> exactly but like like we said um character development i feel like the main character needs to get hurt sometimes to develop like I feel like, you know, we make mistakes, crap happens to us in life, and we learn from those mistakes, and we learn from that pain or whatever, so I'm guessing Mm -hmm. it's going to be something like that. I really don't want anything, you know, to happen to you, because I already love this girl so much, but, like, this friendship is going to, 
either yeah like B said help her out of her show but I mean it's also going to be painful for her I feel like but also character development I just hope it's not like too bad you know Ugh. I mean how do you learn to cut somebody out of your life until you're pushed to the limit and you have to cut somebody mm-hmm. you're right cut toxic people I out like so much oh my god I love her mm-hmm. it's so true so yeah the <laughs> freaking the ghost singer gig i just don't think it's gonna work out in the end for sure because i just i'm thinking like internet side i'm like she's a youtube star she got two million people watching her they're gonna figure it out and then it's, oh, yeah, it's all gonna break loose i give it I'm two to three it. more episodes before it falls apart literally she has two million subscribers there's no way no one person's like hmm if she knew how to sing why did she sound like a little bit different doesn't sound natural you know there is seven billion people on this planet and she only got two million weak. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> Man, you could do better than that. <laughs> what do you think of the manager so far? Uh I think it's creepy. I think he is, you know, like <clears throat> helping her being this manipulative person. Like he knows what he's doing. He's, a, he's a an part adult, of he me knows. that thinks he's the master, like the puppet master, and he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cherry. That's, but that's also, also, can we talk me? about Cherry Lee, Cherry Tree? Oh my gosh, I didn't catch that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> wait, you're right. I was like, wait, what? Yes, you're so right. So many puns. I love it. <laughs> hey, oh my so, god, I love it. I only got that because I had a dyslexic moment reading the little. Google Doc and I read Cherry Tree and I realized I mixed Mr. Lee and Tappy together and I was like, whoops. Oh my god, that's so funny. Holy <laughs> crap. I kind of love that though. It's like they're, you know, a couple or they're not a couple, they're like working together and their names mm-hmm. work together. Like they're a pairing. <laughs> yes, they're a pair. Yes. That is the word. They're for. toxic but like, together. Th- that's the <laughs> Mm. yes yes it, the thing is about mr lee is he kind of looks like our dream eater boy see that's what i was thinking i see like the hair and i'm like yo he kind of looks like day with his hair <gasps> yo 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 you know how day was saying his brother's gonna come visit him what if that's his brother i can see that i can see that and they look similar yo that's crazy I could see that too, but as I was like, ow, 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 I hit myself with the pen. Um, and everyone just heard that. Okay, that's nice. Um, so I, like we said before, I also get the vibe that Mr. Lee could potentially be like a puppet master kind of thing. Because, you know, he's just there in the background watching, making sure Cherry's saying the right things, doing the right things. And then Cherry's like, oh my God, don't worry. That's just my manager. Oh my God, don't worry. Like, you know? And then like later, Cherry gives Eve's address to her manager. And, you know, that's not something that you just do. Like, you know, no, you that's creepy. especially without without asking someone's permission. Like, why would you do that? That's, that's creepy. And then he's like, oh, like, what? Like, why would you do that? You don't just give it out to any stranger. And she vouches for this guy. Like, it doesn't matter. You could have met up at your place, Cherry. But I don't know. He just seems like a very sus dude. Like, why would you want to meet up with a girl alone in her house? Like. I don't want to do that. I want to meet you outside of a cafe in broad daylight. Sir, what is wrong with you? What kind of weird concept are we signing? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, because Eve's still on the fence on everything. She's like, well, I don't know. And then she kind of just intimidates her and is like, well, I'm going to have this guy approach you that you don't even know and is acting intimidating. Exactly. And then it's going to like kind of get you to sign this. Exactly. And I yeah. feel like I feel like him approaching her in her own home invading her privacy is going to make her feel even more like intimidated because she's already on the fence and she's confused so I feel like that's going to kind of like force her in like she's going to feel trapped in her own like thing her own bubble per se and you know she's gonna she's not going to be like comfortable and she's just going to sign it to go with it because you know that's her comfort zone her home is her comfort place and he's invading it and gonna force her to do this and I'm like I'm not happy about it and then she's going to have nightmares and days when exactly. you're protective because he's like, she's really not okay right now. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like watching you. You're like waiting for it to come. Yeah. Like, oh, I love her saying it. 
I'm not, I'm not my queen be say it. <laughs> this is why I give you guys hand signals because I don't want to interrupt, but I'm like, hey, hey, I got something to say here. <laughs> <laughs> You're raising your hand, like, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me? Is it my I'm so glad Hello? that they can't see what we do on these video chats. Like, Honestly, that would be so funny though. Like, I- imagine if they saw us; it would be hilarious. They would see I mean, all I the look, random like facial look, expressions. Yes, but I look like a homeless person, and I'm sorry for that. A but sexy you know, homeless person. Oh, oh, my queen! Thank you so much. Oh my god, my man came out. Oh my god, y'all, y'all. Don't do that to me. You mean a man voice? I'll give you a home, you. girl. Oh, girl, let me slide over. <laughs> Gabby, you're already at my house. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you mentioned nightmares, and I really wanted to discuss episode four, which was Beautiful Dreamer, which happened Yay! to be about her. A very exquisite nightmare. Can we just dive? Because I felt like that episode was really pivotal in like, learning who Eve was, because we already kind of touched on it. A little bit of the conversation but just yeah. seeing it visually and it was horrifying to like watch sometimes because i was, was like the art was so beautiful though mm-hmm. the art was it so was beautiful. it was compelling oh my goodness yes exactly baby eve but, like, is so freaking cute oh, oh no. my god yes. i loved it so much oh my god she was so adorable but like you also kind of see like yes it also t- um it's very important to see who eve was but i feel like that also touches on how like the world society impacts a person a child so young she was okay she was she wanted to do her but the world society people kind of made her break apart like the mirror you know like she broke and she's not herself and yes that exact picture she started to there started uh, i can't even see anymore uh cracks started to form and she started to break and morph into this person that she's not and like her her true self is being trapped inside you know I feel like sometimes as an introvert I can relate to that because you know us introverts you know it's tough out here it's tough out here like we sometimes you know I'm just like I don't speak on my feelings or my thoughts or whatever to everyone because I'm not comfortable because I'm like what if someone judges me and I feel like I feel like I can relate to Eve so much because of that exact thing you know I feel like she's just like that she's intimidated by her friends and you know people around her and she's not getting to be someone that she wants to be. She's not getting to do what she wants to do. Like, you know, she's, her parents kind of forced her into this, like, education that she didn't want. And she was unhappy. And then she's like, I have to be realistic. And then that one college friend or whatever was all like, oh, you're antisocial. But, like, uh, society uh, sucks. People suck, guys. So right after that mirror break, you see – her breaking and not really being true to herself and then <clears throat> she falls down a tunnel of eyes and I think the imagery in this is so good because now she's sitting in the mirror and it goes right back to her being a child and she's like oh I can fix this and she's just putting makeup on mm-hmm. and then you see her in the mirror with the makeup on and blacked out eyes and it's just kind of like a I'm going to cover up that I'm dead inside. Yeah. And I, I can felt feel that. that. I felt that on a spiritual oh. level, bro. Sometimes, like, you know, I'm putting on the smile on my face, but that's not how I feel. You know, I'm just like, someone, like, when someone asks you, like, oh, how are you today? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, but I'm really dead on the inside. I'm not going to so, tell you that, though. <laughs> I love to ask other people how they're doing because the moment you get someone else talking about themselves, they never ask you how you're doing. Exactly. Like, you exactly. guys remember yeah. in high school, every two weeks I was with a different group because I didn't want people to know my patterns and to realize that I was emotionally yeah. dead. I felt that. I, I even remembered you in high school, like always leaving us. And I mean, don't worry, I was there too. I, I followed you around. I knew your patterns. You knew mine. <laughs> we were in it together. And Gabby was just like, yeah, I'm here too. The three of us were just like, okay, if, if people need to see that. See, this is what I'm saying. We need to do like, a, a real recording with our faces because whew, I can't explain this in words. <laughs> they need um, to see all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like this whole chapter was just really gave me a good like insight on like who her heart her how her heart feels because like like I said like everyone I think can relate to something in her dream either it's people pushing you to do something that you don't want to do in life like um, I can relate to because, you know, 
I'm an artist. And I feel like anyone who wants to pursue an art is going to get that shove and be like, well, that's not realistic. I think you need to go and think of a plan B. I can't even imagine how many times my parents have been like shoving at my face, like go be a doctor or go be a nurse. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to find something that fits me, you know? Right now. And, I just want to be happy, honestly. Yes. And like, I'm so tired of trying to make everyone else happy because I personally am such a uh, people pleaser, you know? And I'm just like, recently I'm just like, I can't be this person anymore. I, I, I want to be happy. I can't be this like emotionally yeah. dead on the inside, you know? It sucks. So like just a few chapters of this one webtoon, it's like, holy crap, like, yo, I relate to this person so well. Like, it's crazy. Chapter four really made me feel some things, bro. Yeah, she has so much emotional depth already. And we only have known her for so long. And to see that she feels like, like, here she is in clown makeup. I feel like she just feels like a fool because she's not able to, you know, get out of this spotlight that her friend is putting her in. Because her, her friend is literally like the ring person in this whole Dude, circus. I was about to bring that up. I was just looking at that. Yeah, and I'm like, guys, the, the ring leader, Jerry right? is like... The ringmaster, yeah. The, the ringmaster, yeah. I think it's a ringleader. I don't know. And then anyway. the fact that she falls off the tightrope, that's what makes me think their relationship is going to crumble. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is definitely foreshadowing. That whole chapter was foreshadowing because we see Cherry in it and then her falling. And then isn't it at the end of that when Day comes in and catches her, like towards the end of her nightmare, he comes oh. to eat her. He comes to eat her dream. Is it, he breaks his rule visited her for the second time and he's like oh a nightmare and then he eats her dream for her i'm like he's going to be the one to save her and then yes when you watch it she's falling off and he catches her in the air and what's crazy is the song that plays in the background on top of this beautiful scene that i have now saved it says queen of my song yeah i saw that I love that. I like that he's just like a real comfort here at the very end of the chapter. He's like, try not to get too caught up in your nightmares because. Beautiful dreamer. Oh my God. I love that. Oh my God. This man has me sipping for him already. <laughs> oh. She really is like a beautiful dreamer. Like she has been since like birth, you know, since a kid. But like um, I was saying, oh my voice just cracked. Um, he broke his rules to come see her again, basically saved her from this nightmare that she was having. And then I, I think it's the next chapter that we go to see him, or was the chapter after? But we see him again, and we meet him, his friends, how he lives, and whatever. You know, he's just this normal guy. And then he talks about himself being a dream eater, and he's like, I made a rule to never. Yes. Oh, oh my God, I love that picture. But like, um, he he mentions how he made this rule to never see the dreams or eat the dreams of the people that are close to him because you know because people don't always need to like know everything. And I'm like, he's breaking the rules for this girl. Like, that's crazy. He made specific rules not to like be eating dreams of people that he's close to, but you my mm-hmm. man are gonna be close to Eve there's no way around it like there's some drama well, that's he, about like, to happen he hugs her and he has holds her close it's not like it's just a hug it's a hold and he calls her that beautiful dreamer and then when yeah, you that, is see, flirting. that is flirting that is when you see the depth of his face and I'm just like oof those cheekbones they are galaxies oh my God, those cheekbones. and yes. he's like Try not to get too caught up in your nightmares. I'm just like, please, can I have a nightmare? Okay. If ah! that man said that to me, oh my God, I would literally just die right then. He's okay. gorgeous. I will have I will have nightmares for you every night, King. Oh, oh, I just dropped. Every night, King, I will have a nightmare, a dream, whatever you want. Okay. I do not need to be exposing myself at this point. Yes. Where's, uh, where's our <laughs> mysterious dream eater where we need them? <laughs> exactly right like this is this is a like a fantasy romance type of situation so you're gonna be a love interest there's no way you're just gonna be only a dream eater like you can't yeah (laughs) i really wonder like how his um i lost my train of thought (laughs) 
what if she becomes a dream eater? How does that dream eater thing work? I I feel like she definitely has the potential to become one because exactly it's, yeah. Like he's here saying he's hungry all the time. Like he's in, insatiable practically. And for her, she's just she she can't sleep. Maybe what she needs is some dreams. Like exactly that's what I was thinking. Like when he did that, I was like, what if he's going to be like her mentor per se, like later? Like what if she, what she really needs to like heal or be her is to be like a dream eater and to get her full night's worth of sleep and stuff like that maybe that's what she needs to do go out and have dreams and dinner. i don't think that's gonna work and i say this because she can't fall asleep to eat oh yeah you're right because he has you have to what fall I'm, asleep actually. yes so what i'm thinking it's kind of gonna be like a friendship sort of thing and it's gonna seem at first like they're using each other because she's gonna use him to sleep and he's gonna use her to have a full night's rest because he eats kind of like you know like dracula having his wives so that he can feed on them whenever he wants i feel like it's going to be a that kind of thing and then they're going to realize yeah, they you're, like right, each other. you're right you're right because at the last chapter they both wake up and they're like wow i feel amazing they both said it so yes. i think that's what it's going to be they're going to keep going he's going to keep going back to her and she's going to keep seeing him in the dreams and then you know then how they're they bump into each other at school exactly you never know. Wait, no, not school. You know how like the cousin, his cousin, is um a fan of cherries, and she's yes. like, oh my god, she's such a great singer. Something's gonna happen, and she's gonna hear. She's gonna be the one that she's finds out one. because they're gonna go to the karaoke bar together. And she's gonna, she's gonna hear, she's gonna hear Eve singing. She's gonna hold up now. She sounds like Cherry. That that ain't right. What's happening? And then you know, it's just gonna happen. Stuff is gonna go down. It's never gonna be good with this ghost singer gig. It's never exactly. I don't <laughs> think that's gonna work ever. Like it's it's not a thing. It's just not practical. Let's go with that. It's not <laughs> practical, and her friend is just toxic, in my opinion. That's just toxic. On a non Benji or on a non toxic uh, topic, Benji is absolutely adorable he has a fake girlfriend yeah i just i'm like are you kidding me right now i love that so cute but like at the same time bro i like how he was like yeah she's cute but not cuter than my girlfriend (laughs) well and then they start roasting him and he's like oh my gosh sorry i was texting my girlfriend like just completely blocks it i am benji benji is i I am that delusional person who thinks K-pop idols are my men, even though they're not. Oh, I'm doing that sign again. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. No one can see me. So um, I am Bendy, and uh, you guys will roast me like, oh, Notion, you're never going to. Ah, not Notion, Panda. I'm Panda, guys. Who's Notion? Um, Panda, you'll never get this person. Who who even is this? You don't even know this person. And I'm like, what? I'm, I was talking to my man. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my gosh i actually would be really excited to see eve meet all of day's group of friends and apartment because i yeah they could fulfill that they little space so genuine you know and i just want Eve to have like genuine people in her life she yes. needs that because i feel like after the whole sherry thing falls through I, she's gonna be all alone she's not gonna have anyone she has her mother, yes, but again, we saw kind of, you know, her backstory. That like, toxic relationship. Ah! Exactly. I'm like, ugh, she doesn't have anyone for her. Day is literally going to be the only thing for her. And I feel like he's going to seek her out and realize he's going to be like, wait, hold up. I like her or I need her and she needs me. So I'm going to find her in real life. Yeah, she really needs a support system and whether that is from a dream eater i mean it works it works <laughs> it works if she gets sleep a beautiful it. one too yeah and then like i said it'd be cool to see her mingle with all these people and make genuine friendships and they seem so supportive of each other like they're just chilling mm-hmm. hang they're out chilling, yeah, yeah. I love that for them. it's like us bro we're all genuine friends awesome oh b you were trying to say something <laughs> no you're good you're good i was hands together paused um <laughs> i thought you were praying uh, lord please help me say what i need to um, anyway so like i love i love that you guys are talking about how she needs a support system the independent in me has to whenever like 
You guys say she gonna need day. She don't need nobody. I mean, yeah, she don't. You're right. You're right. You're right. I I need to be able to tell our viewers that you know what? If people tell you that you can't, instead of agreeing with them, show them that they're wrong, because that is literally my life. They told me I wasn't gonna graduate on time. Graduated with honors. They told me I couldn't go to college was the only 32% that actually graduated. And then of that was the 10% that graduated in four years. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Use it as fuel to prove them wrong. But also, make yourself happy. Because whenever you focus on yourself, like not in a, in a selfish way, but when you truly find self-happiness, other people are going to be attracted to that. And then you're going to get a support system that you weren't even looking for. They just happen. So whenever you guys like full circled it and was like, everybody in the apartment's going to be so cool. I was just like, yes, yes. You want to know why? Because they're all just going to gravitate to each other and it's going to be exactly. beautiful. Okay. I can, I can kind of relate to that right now because I, <laughs> I just you guys, I met these people. You know what you guys see in this podcast? Hey oh, guys, my guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Her her group of besties. <laughs> if you guys hear this, hey besties, it's Panda. You know who I am. But um I met this <laughs> I met these like um oh yeah, besties. These are my older besties from middle school. I talk to you about them too. <laughs> but like um I can I really felt what you just said because I am a very shy person and I don't like you know do all that you know making friends is just hard for me so this past few weeks I kind of came out of my shell a little bit and tried and I met these really cool people and uh, they are amazing so cool the like some of the best people I've ever met and you know it's just so genuine and I feel like I've been so confident when I hang out with them. Like, it's hard for me to be confident, but like, you know, we're we're together and we're all like super confident with each other and we're like hyping each other up. And, you know, we're just all really cool people. I'm like, I feel like in this love team, that group of people is like kind of similar to the, the people that I've met. It's like, it's like just chill and really cool. And yes, like kings and queens, you know? So yeah, just had to talk about my besties real quick <laughs> <laughs> well I love seeing a power group like that would be so fun to see her just making all these great friends and having these really supportive relationships with others and you know like she dealt with a lot of like apprehensive people in her life being pushing her into different directions that she wasn't comfortable with and even her supposed friend right now is doing the same thing with her and she is experiencing, and I think that's what's causing her insomnia too, is that, you know, for one, she's getting nightmares and it's not letting her sleep. And in another, she's avoid, like her body's avoiding sleep in a way. And I think it's because she's just dealing with so much pressure because she's like, I can't hold a job. Uh, I, I couldn't do the things I wanted to do because I had to follow other people's paths that they built for me. And so I really appreciate that maybe with this little path that she's kind of starting to go on with this story is kind of like her way to building self-confidence and self-assurance in herself. Yeah, I hope so. I remember when I was, I was an insomniac. It was horrible. I would get two to three hours of sleep and then I would crash on my, on like the fourth day, but my crash was at most five to six hours because my body was not letting me sleep and it took me literally losing myself and finding out that it doesn't matter who I am right now it depends on what I'm doing now to be who I want to be to be like oh I have inner peace and now I sleep for six hours that Yay. is awesome queen I love that for you but yeah stress and like pressure from things in your life is so awful because it weighs down like so hard for you to sleep like I get that oh my god Eve is such a relatable character like I feel for her because that is literally sometimes I feel like that's just me like I have trouble sleeping all the time because I'm like I feel like I'm doing all these things and there's just so much pressure like oh you have to graduate oh you have to get a job oh do this do that you know like everyone has an opinion and I'm like what 
am I doing for me though? And you know, so it's just, <laughs> so I feel for her. And I'm rooting for her because I'm rooting for myself too, guys. I'm rooting <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Not me crying. <laughs> And not only is she like an insomniac, but she also suffers from RBF, which I guess is like a whole chapter discussing. Like they just didn't like the way her face looked when she was working. Oh my god, well, that really triggered me because I'm like, everyone is freaking beautiful. Eve is freaking beautiful, first of all. She is gorgeous. Like, exactly. Like, and you're telling me she has. She's not a looker. Like, bro, the girl can't sleep. Give her a break. Like, if she took the time found peace within herself just being who she is and was genuinely happy i'm sure people would not say that and my like, other thing is like she was a server and there are some rude customers i'm oh, sure yeah that there are times when she drops face because they deserve it oh yeah you're right customers can be so rude like the customer service industry is not easy guys it's, it's awful out there we fighting for our lives out here in the customer service industry not everyone sucks, but like it's those one or two people, you know, that just ruins your day, kills the vibe. Mm. Don't be, don't be them, y'all. Don't be them. No, be the awesome people that I know you guys are. No. You're here. You're and here. my my sister used to work for McDonald's, and she always told me how like she could just open the drive through door, and then someone just throw food at her, and she oh just my god, like, what? Yes, and she just be like, well, I'm done for the day. I'm leaving, and she leave, and so I'm like, glad you quit. <laughs> Oh my god. That is ridiculous. The fact that people actually do that. I know it's infuriating. And like seeing Eve being like, well, she couldn't do anything with the serving thingy. It was like, oh, I feel for her. I and I get it. Like it's a hard job. And I don't I wish people were more understanding of that because there's a lot that goes on in the background for that. Exactly. And it's not like they've never worked a job like that in their lives. They might so they probably started somewhere like that too. And the fact that they act like that is so annoying oh my god like girl stop it be a decent human being you would not want to you would not want people to act like that towards you not at all when i worked at the sprint store i had a person flash a gun at me oh my god dude what yeah like it's ridiculous when i worked at the urgent care i had someone cuss me out because they waited four minutes in the lobby three minutes was them filling out the paperwork that is ridiculous what the heck they left my as the door shuts the nurse comes out to call them and I looked at them I looked at her and I said don't you dare go tell them because they were like two feet from the door and the nurse was like oh let me go get them and I said no you'd better not and she looks at me she goes was that the one screaming at you and I said yep and she just goes all right, next person. Because we had each other's backs. Like, that was ridiculous. As you should. That's crazy. Build oh, that yeah. power. There we go. Uh, and that's not unrealistic to hear, though. That's, like, the sad part. I hear, I'm like, well, that's normal. Uh, I'm like, well, that's horrible for me to think, too. Yeah. I was working at a gas station once, and this guy, he comes in. He gets, like, let's say, uh, $10 worth of gas. I put on his pump. He goes out, pumps his gas. Um, he comes back he's like that didn't fill up my car I'm like well that's how much you gave me like there's nothing I can do about it he's like well I want more I'm like okay like how much more would you like sir and he's like he just throws his money in my face I'm like are you kidding me right now you're not just throw your freaking dirty money in my face throws his money in my face and I'm just like sir you can't be throwing your money like no at me like I'm not gonna pick that up and he's like he's just already out the door he's like you people should be working for me and stuff like that because I guess he brought race into it. <clears throat> skin color, y'all. But he's like, I, what was it exactly? He said something about race. Anyways, I was like, you know what? F you. Get your gas and leave this place. And he comes back for the third time. I am taking care of another customer. And he's like, you know, arms crossed, foot tapping or stomping on the floor, you know. He's not going to wait. He comes around in front of the other guy. He's like, Listen, that didn't fill up my car. I need you to put more on it. I was like, sir, you keep giving me like five, ten dollars. What do you want me to do about that? Like, and I'm helping another customer. Like, can you sleep to the side? He's like, I was here first. I'm like, you left. You were not here first. Throws his money at me again and just leaves. And I'm just like, 
We ended up At banning that point, the dog. I would have pocketed it. I would have been like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, honestly. This is a tip for dealing with your attitude. <laughs> yeah, literally. No, um, he ended up getting banned because, you know, I was not dealing with that. Okay. And he was racist. So, you know, F him. But you know me, softy, emotional person. I was tearing up because <laughs> I can't take mean stuff. <laughs> you guys know me from high school, crying at little things. You know, mentioning all of these, like, stories like working in like customer service essentially like this is customer service you're working with people and clients and whatever the heck like what you're all doing you know there's like mcdonald's a gas station work a medical team you know you're dealing with people up front and i'm like eve deals with stuff like this too with her old jobs and she's here like i got struggles and i i'm not i can't be successful because people aren't letting me be successful and then cherry's here with her privilege because she's like well i'm struggling here a little bit because i can't maintain my my followers and i'm like then mind yourself girl if you know how to dress and you know how to act cute and use that to your benefit you don't need to be fake for it and then like, girl. oh yes that's 100 percent true and then there's day who is a delivery boy and he's driving a moped can i just say thank you because like yes. it makes me think of Sicily. Uh, but then you just you see how easy these people are like being so sweet and so kind to him because he has like this pretty face. And I'm just like, if you saw the dream either side guys. However, but it's so true. The moment you're like, oh, I'm attracted to you, you're like, I'm gonna throw some money at you. It's like a strip club, but with food. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, I oh, love God. when he's delivering. He's just like on the moped. He's like, I I like the freedom. And then he changes it up because he's like, but now there's her. And you just see like this side glance view of her. And I'm just like, she's gorgeous. Dude, there's something. Oh my I God, I'm, I cannot wait. And then all of a sudden, yes. When he's like, and in her dream, she can see me, and then you just see his galaxy form, and I'm just yes. like, I ah! love his galaxy dream uniform so much. It's literally so aesthetically pleasing and so beautiful. Like, oh, oh yeah. my god, I, love oh. it. I, I have no words. I'm just making random sounds at this point. <laughs> I, I love it. I think I'm just excited for the like the future. I just want me too, me too. I want to see Eve grow. I want to see Day and Eve talk in human life, like not yes. just in her dreams, because I need yes. that interaction. Yes. I I'm really excited for the new dreams. Like I hope they have a good huge episodes of just them interacting. I want them to have a good interaction in a dream. Mm-hmm. Like he get completely off guard. She's having a nightmare because of the cherry tree, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he's just going to save her and he's going to be like, I need to stop saving you. What's going on? You can be the hero of your own story. And like something uh, yeah. powerful like that. I was going to say that. Sudden, oh. I, was gonna, I was just going to say that because I'm like, you know, I don't know if I like the fact of uh, the damsel in distress all the time. Like, why does she need a man to save her? But yes, like, yes, maybe motivation. Yes. Everyone needs a little bit of that sometimes. But I want her to be, you know, the strong character. Well, develop into that at least. Where she yeah. can start to stand up for herself and, like, figure things out and save herself from these, like, situations. Because she, she needs that. Yeah, like the push. That, the yes. push, you know, the supportive friend, the supportive... Like, you know, the support that she, like you said, you don't think that people need the support. But I feel like, not that she needs it, but like, you know, that motivational, like that little push to get her it, started. It helps. It does help. It helps, and exactly. some people need to have that push. Mm-hmm. And I feel like for her, she kind of needs it because, you know, she's just so alone and she's like kind of lost and trying to find herself. So I also hope that uh, Tappy like pushes her in a dream because he's so freaking cute oh my god yes so adorable it kills me that he ends every episode because i'm just like can you jump into out of my phone i love you oh my gosh i need plushies give me some plushies oh my god i I keep saying that i'm gonna make all these plushies but i'm legit gonna make this one like ah. please make it like like in scale, I would think, or no, no, make it I'm realistic make him size. I'm like a micro pig that way yeah. you can hold on to him like a little character. Yo, please, that ah. would be the best thing ever. 
Fam, Sh- share it with Insta me, so. Oh, yeah. The moment I finish all of my Christmas gifts that I need to do because the girl's procrastinating, I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. Ah. That would be so great to see. I would love to see, like, Eve. I, I don't know if it's lucid dreaming. Is that what the term is called? But, like, she she starts, like, messing with her dreams. Like, she starts yeah, getting yeah, fun yeah. with it. And, you know, they're hanging out and having some fun in her dreams. That would be really cool. That would be, really like cool. a- be so cool to see. <laughs> hello i'm thinking of shark boy and lava girl for some reason because you know in that whole movie he's about him moving his dreams i'm like i love that for her he's like making him a motorcycle and stuff like that and so they can like save themselves yes that would be so cool she just lucid dreams and they hang out oh my god that'd be the best and then he keeps mentioning how he hopes that he he doesn't have to rely on one person for dreaming to you know to satisfy his hunger or whatever <laughs> why do I feel like it's gonna be exactly that though <laughs> he's not gonna be satisfied no matter what until he has like her dream or nightmare or whatever oh I can't wait to see more I'm just so excited yo I got this song stuck in my head now I'm just like close your eyes shut your mouth dream a dream and get us out dream 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 dream, 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 dream. <laughs> I like how we just started singing. Yeah. You know, the people that are listening, I'm sorry for my awful voice, but you know, it's, it's a banger. It is. It is. You need to be done. Oh my gosh. I wonder what B is doing. B is having a, the time of her life right now. <laughs> Yo. He just walks into the room. He goes, What is that song from? And I'm like, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And he looks at me and just walks into the kitchen. <laughs> Bro, please. Your viewers today are gonna be like, "What is going on? This like, this recording is crazy. Like, they're all simps, first of all." And now it's been a bit since we've had a discussion. I think the last time we talked was probably in October, like a full. Oh my gosh, it's trio. So long. It has been a bit. It's been forever. So, when that happens, we always end up trailing off conversation. We do. We do. <laughs> But like honestly, yeah. I feel like a lot of it kind of went with the you know the webtoon today because like we kind of did trim off, but it was more for like how it connects to us and in real life. And so I feel like you know it was a little bit different today, but you know it kind of works out. Yeah, I mean it's really relatable. Like Eve is a it really is. relatable character. I feel like this is definitely gonna be like one of my favorite characters just because well so far because um she's just so so relatable and I feel like I just relate to her so well you know and like. So the emotions and the uh, plots and stuff that are like being talked, the points that are being brought up into the webtoon so far, they're just something I feel like everyone at one point in their life can relate to a little bit, if not a lot or whatever. So this story is going to be epic. Yes. Opinion. And I root for her. I really do. I do. Um, same. But yeah, I, I think we covered everything we wanted to for today in this episode. And I am so thankful for you two to come in and discuss Eternal Nocturnal with me by Instant Miso Soup. Yeah, cute little soup bowl icon. And so uh, if you guys haven't read the series yet, I definitely recommend it because it's just starting and it's already this good. Like we're invested. <laughs> it's really good, guys. All right. We're going to sign off. I'm Gooby. And I'm Panda. And I am B today. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>I'd like to take a moment to thank my wonderful co-hosts, B and Panda, for joining me on this discussion of Eternal Nocturnal. I will leave their social media in the description box below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions of what we discussed today in this episode by messaging me through either of my social media handles. Both my Twitter and Instagram handles are at the Tomb Balloon. I would love to hear from you. Also, definitely tell me any other webtoons, anime, or manga you are interested in. I may talk about them in future episodes. The Toon Balloon podcast can be listened to on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, and more. Now, let's end this episode of the podcast.
Thank you so much for joining me today and taking the time to listen to my humble podcast. I look forward to talking with you again. This is the Toon Balloon Podcast. I was your host, Gooby. See you next time.